Thank you for joining me uh, in working on land and water forms. I hope you enjoyed collecting the rocks for this project. Um, if you have picked up gravel, I would say you need to rinse and sieve them off so that they are clean for this activity. Now, I do mosaics, so I have a lot of these, these kind of pebbles. All right, all around our planet Earth, wherever water and land meet, they make different shapes. And the first shapes are the ones that we're gonna work on today. The land name here is island, and the water is lake. So we're gonna create an island. It's the one everybody knows best. An island is a body of land completely surrounded by water. An island is a body of land completely surrounded by water. Okay, let's make a lake. I'm gonna add some more pebbles now. All right, a lake is a body of water completely surrounded by land. A lake is a body of water completely surrounded by land. Okay, let's do our next ones. Mm. Our land formation is isthmus and our water formation is straight. An isthmus is a narrow passageway of land that connects two large bodies of land. An isthmus is a narrow passageway of land that connects two large bodies of land. Okay, let's make a straight. Strait is a narrow passageway of water that connects two large bodies of water. What is next? Let's see. Okay. That is an archipelago. That is our land formation, and this is a system of lakes our water formation, archipelago. I think I'm gonna take out some of my pebbles for this one. All right, I'm thinking Hawaii, the Bahamas, somewhere warm and tropical. An archipelago is many islands closer together, right? An archipelago is many islands close together. All right. Now, let's do a system of lakes. All right. Now we're gonna make our lakes. There's one lake. There's another lake. I think I can take out a couple here to make a lake. Maybe I can take out a lake over here. <laughs> right. A system of lakes or many lakes close together. Hmm. We have the largest freshwater lakes in the world. They're called the Great Lakes. They're not tiny little lakes like this diagram. They're huge. What is our next one to do? Let's see. We are up to the peninsula and 
the Gulf. So the peninsula is our land formation and the Gulf is our water formation. Let's make a peninsula. Now, a peninsula is a portion of land almost completely surrounded by water. A peninsula is a portion of land almost completely surrounded by water. A peninsula usually juts out into an ocean or a sea. Let's do a gulf. Gulf is a portion of water almost completely surrounded by land. A gulf is a portion of water almost completely surrounded by land. And it is often salt water from a sea or an ocean. Down to our last two formations. Mm, we have a bay or excuse me, a cape, which is our land formation, and a bay, which is our water formation. Do it. All right, a cape is a small portion of land that jets out into the water. A cape is a small portion of land jetting into the water. That can be fresh water or seawater. A bay is a small inlet of water similar to a gulf. A bay is a small inlet of water similar to a gulf can be fresh water or salt water. Now this is a, a fun thing to do inside, but when the weather gets warm, have fun outside in your garden making land and water formations. Enjoy the fun. Thank you for joining me in land and water formations.